I'm going to run my uh, hats and uh, 30 cal over the crony and uh, see how it's doing. I think I may need to uh, adjust the uh, hammer spring on it. Let's see what we're getting here. Six forty one. Six thirty five. Six forty four. Six forty eight. Six forty five. Six forty-seven. Okay, uh, I'd like to see it about uh, forty or fifty feet per second more. So let's see if we can uh, uh, put a little more tension on that hammer spring. Empty it out. Yeah, six thirty-nine. So we bring it over there. Take it apart. See if we can do a quick adjustment on it. Okay, so now that we have our uh, ready to roll here, just want to make sure you decock the gun. You bring it just before the slot. This gun should already be decocked, which it is. There it goes. Pull the trigger and will not fire. Now I put the uh, safety on also. And <clears throat> to get the stock off, uh, let me just grab a couple bags. Press this baby on. Make it easier. But to pull, uh, to get the stock off now, use a uh, five millimeter Allen and uh, just put that right in there. Let me just check the camera, make sure you're all set here. Yeah, okay. So five millimeter Allen, it's just, just one Allen screw that holds the stock on. Well, just turn that out. Pull my probe out of the gun. And uh, the stock will slide straight up and off. Okay, that's... Okay, um, let's see. Our, our hammer spring is right in here behind this uh, retainer that holds the spring in. And there's a set screw here that, that holds this retainer in place, and we're going to remove that first. So, just spin that out. Take this all the way out. And, uh, there's, there's a little like notch in this uh, retainer cap thing here that uh, I'll show it to you when I get it out. Get that screw goes into. So, I'm just gonna spin this out with my clamp pliers. Comes out freely because there's no pressure on there as the gun is decocked. Can't do this if the gun's cocked. It'll have all kinds of pressure on it. Okay, so I've got this out, and right there, that's that's that uh, indent that the screw locks into. So, and just keep that right there, 
And um, the next thing is uh, I'm going to take a, uh, a number two Allen. And there's another retainer right here that holds the hammer spring, keeps it from uh, loosening up. So I already got this loose. I'm not going to take it all the way out. I'll just leave it there. And then we use a, a, a number four Allen, and, and that can go in through the spring. And we're going to lock it in. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn counterclockwise. That'll, that, that'll bring this spring back so it compresses the spring more. That gives you more power. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go one turn. I've already turned this uh, a couple of times before. So one turn on that. And then uh, we're, we're, pretty, we're pretty much set here. We'll put our, uh, put our cap back in. Be a little tricky getting it, getting it started. There we are. Yeah, if you just you take your time and don't move the gun around while you're doing it, then it, it makes it a lot easier. Now I'm going to bring this up. I can see that notch right there. So that notch is about uh, 45 degrees, which is somewhere in there. I'm going to put my Allen in here so I can feel that notch. There it is. Okay. So now, take our two and a half millimeter with the screw. And we're going to put it right back in. But, let me see one thing here. Yes. Put it right back in there. And it started. There we are. Try to keep my keep my paws out of the way so you can see here. So the screw is going to go right back into that indented spot in the uh, retainer cap on the end here. It goes way in, you can tell me that you're in it. Yeah, that's done. Tighten up this two millimeter screw here. This retainer. Not too snug, I don't want to strip it. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, so that's done. Now we've uh, we've increased the pressure. We've uh, went counterclockwise, and and that'll do it for that. Now, what I want to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna just put the stock back on. Let me adjust the camera a little so you can see it good. Right there, that should do it. So I'm going to put the stock back on, which is very simple. Just flip it upside down. And one other thing, this little pin here that likes to slide back and forth that's in the trigger, make sure you don't lose it. A little silver pin, keep an eye on that. And uh, take our stock 
and I just line up the uh, line it up with the back of the gun and the trigger drops right on easy so now it's on there just turn that screw and this is the uh, the Gen 2 the second uh, hats and they came out with uh, I've, I've never done the first hats and so I don't know anything about it but uh, you see we have all of our uh, pressures on the uh, in the tank you don't need to bleed the tank to do this but you do need to decock the gun and throw my probe back in and we're done so let's run it over the crony and see what kind of results we get now okay uh, got the chronograph on yeah, just throw a mag in the gun here. Here we are. See, see what we get now. Seven twelve. Seven twelve again. Seven oh seven point two. Seven eleven point three. Seven oh six point four. Uh, awesome. Awesome, that's what I wanted to see. Point this in the safe direction here. So that's it guys, that's how you do it, it's pretty supple, and that's the uh, hats and uh, blitz, uh, 30 caliber, and uh, over time you put, you probably will need to um, adjust that hammer spring, and it's very simple to do, just take your time, don't move the gun around, and make sure that screws, are, uh, your retention screws, loosen them and tighten them, you know. And uh, I think that's going to be it for this one. And um, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. See you next time.